Good morning, happy Friday. Today is May 29th and here are our lessons for the day. Today in English language arts, you are going to continue working on your opinion writing that you started in your graphic organizer yesterday. And today your job is to write one or two reasons for your opinion. And your success criteria is I can use my graphic organizer to write one to two reasons that support my opinion. So yesterday you should have started off writing your opinion as an introduction in your graphic organizer. So this is what your graphic organizer should look like right now. And today we're focusing on the reason. So we have two spaces for two reasons that you can write that support your opinion. So I'm going to go back and look at my opinion as an introduction and see what, remind myself what my opinion was so I can come up with two reasons why I think that. So my opinion says, in my opinion, dogs are the cutest animal to have as a pet. So I need to make sure that both of the reasons that I put into my graphic organizer have to do with why I think dogs are so cute, okay? So I'm gonna get started here in my yellow box with reason number one. And I think I'm gonna say something about their fur and how it's super soft. So one reason is they have very soft and pretty fur. Okay, so that has to do with why I think dogs are so cute. It explains why I think they're cute because they have soft and pretty fur. And I'll add a picture of that. So now I can go to reason number two. I've already said something about dogs' fur, so I need to think of something different to say, a different reason why I think dogs are so cute. So then I put another reason is dogs come in many sizes, so you can pick one that is perfect for you. So here we have a picture of a small dog and a bigger dog, okay, because some people might think different things about um, what type of dog is perfect for them. So you can have a small dog or you can have a big dog. So that's another reason that supports my opinion. So you should now have in your graphic organizer after you finish your writing today, your opinion as an introduction and one reason or two reasons that support your opinion. And this bottom part here, your conclusion should be blank, okay? And today for math, your focus is a math game and the math game is called add two digit and one digit numbers. And your success criteria is I can add one digit numbers to any two digit number. And you can find this math game on our Canvas page under the Friday column by clicking on the math game link and it'll bring up the directions for how to play this math game, okay? So we talked this week in Zoom about a couple of ways that we can um, add one digit numbers to a two digit number. We talked about using number paths and we also talked about putting the bigger number in our head and counting on from there. So when you're playing this game, think of those two strategies that we talked about this week to help you add with bigger numbers. And as always, please don't forget to read independently for 30 minutes. You can go on Mayan, you can read books, you can read on your bookshelf. And check out any specialist websites for additional activities. Okay, so I hope you all have a great Friday and have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday.